This is Mr. Mega Man Van. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know all the things to do. Up until recently, I didn't know that this existed. And I imagine unless you watch Sean Johnson on YouTube and watched all six hours of his latest Capcom games on PlayStation 1 video, which you should because it's really good even though it's long, watch it in chunks if you have to, but seriously, I thought I had every variation of Mega Man on every single platform right up until I watched his video and then he mentioned there was a Capcom Game Book edition of Mega Man 2 or Rockman as it's known in Japan and I was like Capcom Game Books? What? But we're gonna open this and take a look at it and hopefully I'll just have one tape here, if I can get this off, there we go. Unedited, just looking at this straight up. I made a best offer on one of the few that I could find on eBay, and it was accepted. And true to his video, this is a game book. There is a copy of Rockman 2 inside the book. Now... He apparently bought one that was new old stock and the seller didn't charge him what a complete new copy would be worth. But then again, it's hard to say what a complete new copy would be worth because so few copies are sold and price charting doesn't even have a listing for this. So what is this worth? You tell me. And they didn't do this for all of the Rockman games that they reissued on PlayStation. Apparently, they only did it for Rockman and Rockman 2, and 2 was the only one I could find, and 2 was also the only one that he had. So, let's put it in the old PlayStation, since I have a region-free mod in here, and we're just going to boot this up, take a look at it. But as far as I know, this should be the exact same disc as the... Rockman Collection, which came out in six volumes, or you could buy it as a package, also with Rockman X7. And later they released a slimline version of it, but they were all basically a re-release of Rockman 2 for PlayStation 1. So far, so good. Though I may need to turn down the volume just a little bit. I've already got it synced up to a 8-bit Bluetooth controller, so should just be able to bounce right into the game here. Yeah, this looks the same as the Rockman 2 for PlayStation 1 that I already had. It just comes packaged inside of a book. It's one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. But yeah, this is just classic, old school, Mega Man 2 or Rock Man 2, whatever you want to call it. I was telling Ben over at Ben's Game Zone that this is the game that made me fall in love with Mega Man as a kid. This was the first NES game I ever played on any console ever. And it formed my obsession with Mega Man for the rest of my life. And since some people consider Mega Man 2 to be the greatest of all of the games, I think that's easy enough to understand. It's really hard to hold the controller and hold the camera at the same time. I wish I'd gotten out a tripod for this. So I'm kind of having to do it one hand at a time. Fire and then use the D-pad and then fire, which isn't going to help me with this frog boss at all. But you know what? I think you get the idea. This is so wild to me. Let's see what this says on the back, if anything. Almost looks like there's a mailing address label on it, but it's not. It's a barcode. 
and it says for Japan only. For Japan only? I beg to differ. I can beat you. You can't stop me from playing you. I'm, I, I may not be in Japan, but I'm playing this. NTSCJ, yeah, whatever. As long as you have the will, you can do it. Let's uh, look at this book again. Now, I noticed in the auction photos that the staples were a little loose in the middle. It looks like we've got facts and uh, we've got some instructions on how to use the PlayStation controller with the game. And it looks like a little dossier of all the items that you can collect throughout the game and how the password system works. And a look at all of the robot masters that you have to face. Probably some tips and tricks as well. It'd be nice to see somebody like Rockman Corner put this up on Patreon or Discord fully translated. I don't know if that's the kind of project they'd be into or interested in, but it sure would be nice to have a full translation of everything in here, including even these credits at the back. But pretty wild if you found one of these in a Japanese secondhand store and it didn't have the disc in it, you'd be like, what's the point? Although I suppose you could just throw a budget version of Rockman 2 for PS1 in there and call it complete. I don't know if the disc is itself distinctive compared to the normal version. I, I mean, it plays the same. Am I going to pull out the other version right now? Heck no. Do you know how many shelves I would have to dig through to get to it? Probably going to play this one more just because it's loose and available right now. Wild. Well, let me take a look at that disc real quick. Turn this off. So I'm going to have to put it back in here anyway. The color scheme on this disc might be a little different from the other version. You might not just be able to swap one for the other. In fact, the easiest way I could say that for certain would be if there's a, a code on here. Let's see. 87410. Let's look on the back. 87410. So I'm going to say this version is unique and matches the book. But the long and the short of it is there is a Capcom game book for Mega Man 2 only in Japan. And Sean Shonson is awesome. And I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan, and thanks for watching.